Thanks for watching the video today. Uh, I've had some requests to show how I set up the dig function on the Axial Capra. Uh, this one here was my first one. <clears throat> so hopefully how I explain it and how I did it works for you. Um, just be careful, don't burn up that servo. All right, so setting up this dig servo. I'm using the Spectrum SX107. I am using the Spectrum DX5C controller. Um, you've got, when I set mine up, I did it with no cage on it. I temporarily wired in all the electronics. Um, this way, obviously, you can activate it. So first things first on the DX5C, you want to figure out what button you want to use. I personally am using this button in the front. That's letter D. So I'm going to set that up on here. You want to select your scroll wheel, the scroll wheel here. You want to go down to auxiliary assign. And you can see it says auxiliary one. You can select whatever you want. Mine is plugged into the auxiliary one port. Input is the button D. This is two position. You are able to do a three position. I haven't messed with that, so this is what I did. Uh, you also want to side click. You want to go to active. It'll probably say inhibit at first. Um, I haven't messed with the, the momentary. I believe you can just you can set this up to where you push the button and it activates the dig. Let go of the button and it un disactivates the dig. I haven't messed with that yet. But this is what I started with. So. Auxiliary 1, input D, 2 position, cyclic is active. Hit the back button. Now you're going to want to go up to uh, sub trim. You want to make sure that's at 0. So my AX1 is at 0. You want to make sure that's centered. Um, at this point, I believe you can go to travel. And if you notice, a bunch of settings here so auxiliary one it has one or the other and what we want to do go ahead and set those to say 25 percent you're gonna have to play with this so set those at 25 percent this is important though do not install the servo arm yet right because you have so many positions you can put that servo arm in uh, you may end up overthrowing it and burning out your servo. You don't want to do that. There is a servo saver on top, so you can kind of keep an eye on that. Every time you hit this button, it'll switch positions on that AX1. All right? So that means 34% travel in that direction. Hit the button again, it goes the other direction. That's 76% of the travel. And you can't go down below zero, so you want to start, you know, 20 25% and kind of creep up onto it. So you need to know which direction your servo is going, right? Zoom in here. This can be really tough to see me get a flashlight on here. So this is all the way back. That's all the way forward. Yours may be different depending if it's reversed or not. The trick of this is you want to note which direction the servo goes every time you throw that button. So you hit the button, note which way it's going. For mine, I made sure it went all the way forward. I had it set at 25% or roughly in there. I noted which way that servo turned. So it turned all the way forward. Now at this point, put your servo saver on. Push the dig rod all the way forward. Insert that servo arm into that dig arm and on top of the servo, make sure the splines are lined up. If it helps, even at 25%, pull the dig arm backwards just a hair to make sure everything gets lined up. At that point, tighten your servo saver down. Now you can increase that percentage until it gets fully activated. You'll know it's fully activated when that, that servo saver kicks up a little bit okay so that's the four-wheel drive normal driving if you want to activate your dig now you hit your button go back to the locked position 
You'll notice those splines just kind of popped in when I moved that back tire. That's because they didn't, they weren't lined up. So all the way forward, now you're back to four wheel drive. Hit your button again to go all the way backwards. Now you can increase that percentage on that travel. Let's zoom, so zoomed in here. Go back down to your travel. You see that that 76 on mine is highlighted. So if yours is at 25, it's a, it's not going to be fully engaged. It'll probably be freewheel. So just click on the, the button there, the roller, and increase your percentage until that goes all the way back as far as you need it to go in order to engage that dig. Important to sneak up on that end travel so you don't burn out that servo. Definitely don't want to go overthrow it, so keep an eye on that servo saver. If it gets fully locked and you see the separation on that servo saver, it means you've gone too far. Back that percentage down a little bit. And you're going to have to play with the numbers back and forth until you get it to lock the way you want it to lock. All right, thanks for watching.